You are ready to take your finances to the next level with budgeting, and you know it's time to get a little help. Smart move. But which budgeting tool do you choose? In this Monarch Money versus Mint showdown, we're gonna point out what we love about both of these popular tools and help you see which tool might be right for you. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you like what you hear today, please give me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then commenting something down below. Maybe which is your favorite or which one you think is the winner between Monarch Money and Mint. Now, if you decide to try either one, Monarch Money or Mint, please use our links in our video description as it supports this channel. Thanks. Okay, who is Monarch Money? Well, Monarch Money is a personal finance app that flew to our fingertips in 2020. Startup veterans Val Augustino, Joe Sutherland, and Ozzy Osman co-founded this finance tool to help you win with money. Evidently, uh, Val Augustino was the first product manager on the original team that built Mint.com, so unpack whatever fintech world drama you'd like there. <laughs> anyway, this super team wanted to create a personal finance app that does three things. Offers peace of mind, builds healthy financial habits, and supports you while you achieve your goals. To help you do that, Monarch Money allows you to view your account balances in a single snapshot. Plus, you can monitor your transactions and keep tabs on your investments. And the best part about this tool, you can seamlessly work with your partner to get on the same page and hit those money milestones faster. Yes, Monarch Money definitely kept couples in mind when developing this tool, which is nice to see in a budgeting app world that seems to be made for individuals. To take a deeper dive into all things Monarch Money, you can watch our full video review on this channel. Okay, let's jump into Mint. So who is Mint? Well, Mint is one of the original personal finance tools. In fact, so many people use Mint as an introductory budgeting tool. It is one of the most downloaded money tools available. Designed by Intuit, Mint has the same creators as other tools including TurboTax and QuickBooks. You've probably heard of those ones. So they know a thing or two about dollars and cents. Mint features a free online budget planner that also allows you to track your cash flow. You can also customize your budget. It even offers insights, which they call Mint Sites, to help you reconsider some of your spending and saving habits. Okay, now it's time for the Monarch Money and Mint Showdown. Let's start with Monarch Money's best features first. Clear financial overview. How many times have you started to work on your finances only to realize you have to find a key detail in a different app? Well, Monarch Money changes all of that. They offer a clear financial overview of all your accounts in a single snapshot. When you look at your custom dashboard and your net worth, it becomes immediately clear that the Monarch Money designers knew what they were doing. Their tech expertise shows in the sleek design with easy to navigate features. You can give Monarch Money access to your bank accounts and investments to get a comprehensive view of where you stand financially. Plus, you can tailor your dashboard to give you the details you want and skip what you don't want. Number two benefit, ad-free experience. Unlike other personal finance apps, Monarch Money is committed to being ad-free. There are no pop-ups to close when you scroll and no sidebars to throw you off task when you use the tool. There's nothing worse than using a money tool only to find yourself lured into another site where you shop and spend. Of course, we understand that some people have no problem looking right past ads, but we really appreciate the sleek, distraction-free feel of Monarch Money. Number three benefit, no sales pitch. Some finance platforms that feature similar tools come with a sales pitch. When you cross a certain financial benchmark, the company reaches out to users offering a paid investment service. There's absolutely no sales pitch and no upsell with Monarch Money. Their fee is straightforward. It's $14.99 a month or $99 per year, and it doesn't depend on your bank balance. Another one here, combined finance features. Monarch Money truly is a modern money management tool. It understands that one person in a family shouldn't make all the money decisions. 
but they also understand that not everyone wants to combine every aspect of their finances. So users can choose how to merge their money management with their partners. You can add as many members to your dashboard as you'd like with no added fee. This is great for aging parents or adult children who you may also want to merge some aspects of your finances with. Of course, Monarch Money works for our single friends too. And that's something we truly enjoy about the tool. It can evolve with you on your money journey. Okay, let's jump to some Monarch Money areas for improvement. It shouldn't be a secret that we think Monarch Money is a solid app, but there are some areas that it could improve on to meet the needs of more people. The first one, it's a paid platform. If you are someone who has a hard time spending money as you look to get better with money, this feature might be a turnoff. Monarch Money is a paid platform. You have two options when it comes to how much Monarch Money costs. Pay a monthly subscription of $14.99 or pay a yearly subscription of $99. What does that subscription get you? Well, first of all, Monarch Money promises not to sell your data. And quite honestly, that's that's pretty huge. The subscription charge also guarantees an ad-free experience. Monarch Money also isn't gonna make recommendations for different paid products or credit cards. Another limitation, limited cryptocurrency offerings. While cryptocurrency isn't part of my portfolio currently, many people still have cryptocurrency as part of theirs. When Monarch Money pledges to show you all of your finances in one space, they may fall a little short here. Currently, Monarch Money only works with Coinbase. While we know Coinbase is probably the most commonly used exchange, it certainly isn't the only one. That means if crypto features prominently in your portfolio, Monarch Money might not be the all-in-one tool that you need. And there's no credit scores. Another piece of the financial puzzle that is missing from Monarch Money is your credit score. We think building credit is actually an important part of the financial process, so it's a little disappointing to see Monarch Money omit this one. However, with most credit cards and many other financial institutions offering quick and easy access to your FICO score, you can do your own credit monitoring pretty easily, honestly. Still, this is one thing we hope to see them add in the future, so Monarch Money really can be a one-stop shop for your finances. Okay, now let's explore some of the best features of Mint. It's free, obviously, that's a great one. If you ever find yourself wondering if something is truly fee, yes, we can assure you that Mint is free to use. There is no fee to download the app, and you don't have to worry about monthly or annual subscription fees. As a user of Mint for over 10 years, I have not paid them a dime and I've gotten a lot out of it. This is honestly why so many people reach for Mint when they start to get their financial house in order. Many people are reluctant to shell out even a few dollars when they are first learning how to manage their money. So it makes sense that free is a big selling point. Uh, next big benefit for Mint, bill negotiation. Mint initially made waves in the fintech scene for helping users track their bills. After all, making your payments on time is a big deal. Now, Mint's taken that feature even further. In a partnership with BillShark, Mint now helps users negotiate and lower their bills. Worried that there's a phone call in your future? Don't sweat it, man. Mint does the heavy lifting and negotiating for you. In fact, Mint estimates they've saved users nearly $2 million since the feature launched in 2021. Of course, you want to be aware if your bills are successfully lowered. Bill Shark keeps a cut of the savings for up to 24 months. Still, most users don't object because they come out money ahead. And then they've got budget customizations. Mint prides itself on being very customizable, and we agree. You really can tailor the app to fit your financial picture no matter what it looks like. When you first set up your account, you'll be prompted to create a budget. Mint starts off with suggestions that are common for many people. For instance, it will prompt you to set up a transportation category. You will get a suggested amount, and then you can adjust it based on your needs. Eventually, you can open up a category called everything else. This is a catch-all category, and it'll contain your other spending transactions. You wanna review them, and then you can reassign them as needed. 
or they can stay put. It's worth noting that this is not a quick process, but many users, including me, say it's really meaningful. It serves two purposes. You can thoughtfully review your spending to get a sense of where your money went previously, plus you can be more intentional about the categories in your budget. This should give you a good sense of why this tool is a budgeting favorite. Now let's talk about Mint's areas for improvement here. It's kind of a cluttered experience. One of the trade-offs for free tools is the fact that the user experience is not as sleek, right? Mint started with a lot more advertising than it currently has, but you should know that it does run on ads and product recommendations. Similar to apps like Credit Sesame, Mint will show you the financial information you want to know, and it will also recommend things for you to buy or sign up for. The idea is that these recommendations will help your financial situation, but we think it can make for a cluttered and sometimes overwhelming experience. Still, this might be worth it if you're looking for a truly free fintech tool. Another area of improvement would be setup time. If you're imagining downloading the app, creating a username, and starting a budget right away, eh, think again. There's some setup time required with Mint. In addition to syncing all of your accounts, you have to customize your budget for you. Of course, that's part of what makes Mint such a powerful budgeting tool. But know that you're gonna have to put some time in upfront. Additionally, you may find that Mint mislabels some transactions. Users say that they have to sometimes go in and redo their budget categories to keep everything in its proper place. For a 10-step walkthrough on how to set up your free Mint budget, I have a detailed video in our video description. It kind of looks funny with me pointing with the gloves, but it's down there. Okay, ding, 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 baby. What's our final verdict on the Monarch Money versus Mint showdown. Well, there are so many great budgeting apps on the market today. As much as we love Mint for its OG status, there's even more that we love about Monarch Money. If we had to declare a winner in the Monarch Money versus Mint showdown, we'd go with Monarch Money. The combination of a really sleek interface and thoughtful user experience has it inching out ahead. Then the fact that you can so seamlessly add a partner, an adult child, a parent, or anyone else to your dashboard pushes Monarch Money over the finish line first. This financial tool can grow with you throughout your money journey. Of course, the key is to pick the tool that best suits your needs. And honestly, we're just thrilled you watched this far because it means you're really ready to improve your financial picture with the power of budgeting, no matter which tool you choose. Ah! Well, enough from our side, everyone. We want to hear from you. Do you have a favorite budgeting tool? What do you think about this Monarch Money versus Mint showdown? Please let us know in the comments below. Remember, you can access either one of these options in our video description. And thanks for playing along with me with these silly boxing gloves. Remember, using those links in the video description supports this channel. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.